Okay, I have baffles, which I'm going to try and put onto uh, my Harley Sportster just to see if it makes a difference. It's very loud. Um, I like it, but I am worried about the neighbors and I'm worried about my warrant. So I'm going to see if I can shave off a few decibels with these and uh, see what it sounds like. Um, I've heard it sounds good and I've heard it um, takes away a bit of power. So let's go have a look. Let's see if that works. So I'll take it sort of from the back wheel out say one and a half meters. So let's go 1.5 from there. I don't know where they measure it from to be honest, I have no idea. Um, but this is just for me to get a to get a single reading. And I'll take it up at one meter high. So well I'll just do it at the height of the camera. Let's see what it tells me. Sure how you pause this thing and save it there's no save function which seems a bit bizarre anyway it gave me an average of 90 before i shut it down which i think seemed pretty consistent with the first time i tried so 90. these work is you put them on with the plastic they kind of melt in that's the screw and that's the screw there and the other one there so it literally should just be a case of putting them in I right, hope it's that easy let's have a look okay so here's the old baffle that I've just taken out so this is the standard baffle I'm assuming this baffle um, is blocked off on one end and um, has has this sort of fiberglass wrapping so that's the quiet one similar size but not quite the same so this is going to be interesting okay so it's in I'm just lining up the uh, the screw hole <laughs> yeah you can see that it lines up good next one doesn't turn very much and then it's done. It's just awkward to get to with one hand, left hand, in case you're wondering. Okay, so there you go, there's the second one out. And <coughs> here we go. Uh, this way around obviously. Okay, tightening it up has gone fairly easily. Just had to find the alignment and then they've just gone in. Okay, nearly there. I'm gonna try it now without the um, without the shroud things on. That'll make a slight difference, I suppose, but I'll do it before and after. I'm keen to see the difference. So let's do this. From eight, was so it was 90 and it went down to 88. 88. So we've lost two decibels. But remember, decibels are, they yeah, are, uh, what do you call it? Where they, <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> they go up. <laughs> Exponentially. Exponentially, yes. yeah, they go up. <laughs> that is a very different sound. Yeah, that is a it very, sounds quite aggressive, actually. Oh, you should have heard it without the baffles. Okay, it's time to take the bike out for a spin. I put the baffles, shroud things back on, but... um. Two of them are very short. I remember struggling like hell to put them on. Um, I just think Harley have put uh, clamps that are too short. 
so I'm going to have to go buy some longer ones in order to do that properly. But this is good enough. I'll be able to take it for a spin and see what it sounds like. It'll be interesting. I've just wheeled it out. It sounded very different when I started it. Like a much more of a low rumble. Um, it felt, it sounded a good deal softer than I expected. And yet the decibel meter on my phone, which is probably highly inaccurate, only gave it an extra decibel or two. Anyway, let's give it a ride. I'm going to go and take it to the same place I did last time when I drove by. That way I can listen to the old one against the new one and see what it sounds like. This is going to be so much inter so interesting. <laughs> Also be interesting to see if I have any um, if I have any uh, engine lights come on because I'm assuming that there's less air getting out now. I can feel it's jerking around already, so it's going to need a, a new retune. long before we have a problem with the uh, engine light, no doubt. I don't dislike the sound. It's just very, very soft. Alrighty, so let's find the place. Where I can hang up my uh, GoPro and ride up and down. I'm trying to remember where it was. So it was here because I parked by this post, I recall. So. No, it was this one. Here we go. This post. Okay.
has the potato sound, but it's not quite as uh, not quite as uh, emphasised as before. I think I prefer the old, to be honest. But the old is very loud. Maybe there's some sort of compromise I can make to the baffles, drill a few extra holes in them or something. I don't know. Let's go. So now I'm riding without uh, my earplugs just to see what it really sounds like, and it's, uh, it still sounds good. Okay, so I have flashed it. I've put on the staggered short shots uh, with quiet baffle. Okay, it's the standard. Lance and Hines Fuel Pack 3 thing. Um, previous experience has shown that you need to tweak it and tune it and then you have to send it off to the customer services. <laughs> but we'll see, might get lucky and I, I flushed the code. If the code comes back then I know um, I'll have to do some more, but let's go and see. Okay, off we go. Straight away it feels better, I think. But then every time I put on a new uh, a new map, it feels good in the beginning. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be the proof of whether I fixed the uh, the oil, the oxygen, because normally the second start within a few seconds. If there was a problem in the previous run, then the engine light will come on. That's been my pattern. So, let's give it a go, see what happens. It's time for new gloves, new summer gloves. <laughs> These sharks are falling apart. Okay, light hasn't come on yet. Okay, and we are off auto tuning. I've managed to find a nice spot for my phone. <laughs> Hope it doesn't fall out. But I'm just trying all different types of uh, RPM. 